this is Emna Mizuni and this is my other podcast, El Salon. El Salon is an initiative that I started a while ago, like a few years ago actually. And uh, in El Salon, the whole idea was that I would invite people over to a physical space that I created that has a very nice fancy couch where I could sit with my guest and discuss ideas, discuss uh, books, discuss everything. Um, with the pandemic, unfortunately, I had to shut down um, the whole idea of El Salon for a while, like the physical space, uh, let's say. Um, and from then, I started moving towards more of a digital uh, version of El Salon. Um, and so without further ado, um, here is um, my podcast. Um, I'm going to talk about everything that I was supposed to talk behind the idea of El Salon, behind that little dream of mine. Um, I would love to discuss openly, um, uh, at least for a while, online, um, arts, books that I'm reading, books that I hear about, um, things that I am passionate about in uh, the culture, um, whether it's in Tunisia, the Arab world, or anywhere else. It really does not matter as much as what matters for me is I share um, this knowledge and this passion with you. Um, so... I would start um, with a couple of things actually today. Um, one, inform you that I have a um, very thematic podcast uh, that is hosted by El Salon. Uh, it's produced by Pro Citizen, but hosted by El Salon. And that podcast is about motherhood. Um, so I invite you all to um, listen to it. And if you're a mom, or mom-to-be, or mother figure, and you would love to be guest of my podcast, please write to me um, in inbox or write an email or anything you want. Get in touch. I want to hear from you. Um, through that journey of motherhood, from the very beginning of it, I really relied on other women, moms, uh, long-time moms and mothers-to-be, and new moms to uh, go through the journey. Um, so it really matters. This motherhood bond with other moms is amazing. I heard about it a lot and I'm so glad that I'm living it. It changes um, a lot, but it changed my life a lot. The other thing that I wanted to talk about today is um, a book that I'm currently reading. I'm still reading it. I'm still enjoying every part of it and this book is called the atomic habits it's so easy to read it's um, it helps you rethink um, uh, your life a uh, rethink or think how to design or redesign your life um i don't know how to explain it it's like i'm so drawn to this book um so basically it talks about what are the good habits and the bad habits and how basically it breaks down ways of how to get away from a bad habit, how to start a new habit. And it's so subtle, the way it does it, the way it explains things. Um, so it focuses really on the science of habit formation um, and that explains to you why, for example, you have certain bad habits that certain you're not happy about, but you don't know what triggers those habits, how to get away from them. Um, it gives a lot of practical advices. I find it very good for me personally as a mom, um, how to manage my time and how to be efficient. But also I find it a lot useful um, to manage my time, to run my work, my business, to do my work, the pile of work, reading, 
uh, being active. This is the part that I'm still trying to work on and figure out. Um, but I'm trying to put and set up new habits basically for me. Um, it's really helpful. It helps you um, create and develop new habits in order to uh, sustain, basically to sustain those habits on the long run. So basically you do not create a habit like I'm starting a diet, I'm going to the gym and you do it like a couple of times and then like, oh no, and you go back to being what my doctor says, a couch potato. That was a shock when she said it to me. It was so real though. <laughs> um, so how to create new things. The book it explains clearly um, those small changes that we need to do um, and the certain small habits that we create that would trigger the big change and how basically one simple habit could or action could make your day go to the best or to the worst. Um, so you monitor the cues, the, you start rewarding yourself. That reward part is so amazing. I'm like, I'm really applying it. Like, um, one of the examples he gave in the book was that um, a guy uh, would always clean his toilet uh what an example i know would clean his toilet before um going under the shower and basically he created this cleaning the toilet is not a fun activity is not a good habit but you have to do it eventually and so as a reward you're gonna take a shower that's so smart how you link new and very simple things of everyday life um and you start calculate the times, like how much time do I need, for example, to do the dishes? And then what's going to be my reward? Ice cream after? That's my reward. Uh, bad reward, I know. Uh, but it helps me do things. Um, so, for example, for me, um, and that I created this habit when I, when I had my baby um, every time. I am um, nursing, uh, which I have to be vigilant and awake, of course, and everything. I would read a book. Uh, so I have a book in my phone. I have a book in my Kindle. I have a book, like a physical book. Um, so I am surrounded. Um, I also created the habit of um, reading the book in the night. And... Um, uh, how would I say, and uh, basically scrolling on Instagram in the day. Um, so these are tiny things that you create, but they could produce a huge uh, result in terms of um, getting your day um, very well planned and going smoothly towards reaching your target, um, your business target, your how to do efficiently your work. Um, and those are things that basically I'm starting from scratch my life as a mom. So I really need to focus on certain things like that. Um, so I find this book like everybody should read, the Mass Read book. It was published in 2018. Um, and I always found it in... Um, in bookshops um but i always say like atomic habits i don't know i'm not really triggered by this but then now i'm starting a whole new life i need to uh, start habits and new habits and develop things and mechanisms to go uh, through things in my life um to be as efficient in my work and uh, in, uh, in my family, be present, how to do this and that, how to divide my day into blocks uh, of 30 minutes, more or less. Um, so these are things really amazing and the, the book really helps um, in developing this. Um, I will not uh, keep talking about the book, but if you have the chance to read it, to buy it, um, 
that would be great. Um, it would help a lot. Um, next time we're gonna talk about something else, I bet. Um, but uh, I really enjoyed, I really want to say that I really enjoy sharing um, these things. I used to share them physically with my friends and we would say, like, they call me, where are you? I'm in El Salon. Okay, we're coming. And they would come and we talk um, sometimes for hours about books and life and different questions. So with this podcast, El Salon, I'll be really responding to those existential questions sometimes, relationship questions, uh, books, um, movies maybe. I'm not um, a movie person, like I'm not specialized, but I really enjoy uh, talking about what matters to me, what touches me personally. Um, I hope you enjoy it. If you have any ideas for me to talk about or to share with you, I will be very happy to do so. And see you soon. Bye-bye.